I'm trying to put him on this shoulder here. Can you finish the arm lock from here, Kevin? Nope. And this one's still strong. This is from a different grip. So with this grip, if I ever have to find myself here now, I really want to, I really want to do that. Okay. But if, especially like if you end up in an arm bar from the guard, that's how you end up in stuff like this. Like usually if they're coming at you off the back, you had time to get your grips like, it ends up being like this. But when they come at you off the guard, a lot of times you end up having a, a deeper grip like this to protect your arm because you just got pitched over from having your weight on them right here, right? So when I have myself here deep, you could do two things with this hand. I'll take this leg off for a second. You could do two things with this hand. You can either turn it this way, and that's the way most people show it, and I think that's, a, that's good. So there's times when I feel like that's the best. But generally what I do is I put that rhino horn right there and I crawl for the back of my skull right here. Like I'm trying to hold on to that occipital right there. And over here, I'm trying to lock on my wrist and curl around. So I'm crawling with both hands like this. My elbows are going up over my head, right? And because I have, uh, my hand turned this way. She doesn't really have a connection. Like keep your weight on me with your leg right there. Like, yeah, she doesn't really have the connection that where's right here, do it again. I feel like she's, I'm having to push her off of me right here. But right here, I just frame her off of me. It doesn't cost me anything. All right, so be strong, take your position and go. And look how I shake it up this way. Keep going. And now I'm going, bam, and in. I'm trying to flatten her, so from right here, I load my feet up and I press towards her right there. Keep your, keep your uh, leg back over where it was. I curl in and press towards her right there, like I'm pushing her to that far shoulder, okay? And then I'll teach you guys the stack in just a second, how to do the stack. So we're in, say you're here and you wanna get to that, right? Then it's a punch, both my hands down like that. And then I crawl until I got the space. Get what I want. But look how I'm raising this above my head. And then when she starts to be patient right here, you're not in trouble, right? When, if, look, if she opens that up like that, you might want to start thinking about trying to find your, your position right here. She, she needs to keep it crossed, keep it strong. And when she starts to bring this other hand in to help because of frustration, that's my time. All right, and then we're gonna start getting up and getting the stack in. I'll show you guys the stack in a second, but I want you to familiarize yourself just with that survival position right there, that little rhino horn thing. You give yourself a Jay Leno nose right there. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. Once he's committed, once he's committed, yeah, there, there we go. Once he's committed his right arm into uh, not controlling the leg, but like ta attacking the lock, breaking the grip, that's my time. So go back to the leg again. And then during this process, I want you to decide to go to my, you understand what I mean? Just make the switch. And when that happens, that's my time right there. You guys got it? So I follow that opening right there. You don't wanna to wait too long because he's gonna feel it, he's gonna come back. All right, so look, I pitch out to here, stay alive with it. Mm -hmm. I pitch out to here and then I start to turn my hips over and I'm coming this way, like I'm trying to put him on his opposite shoulder, not his hip. I want his hips up here over his diaphragm. I'm trying to put him on this shoulder here. Can you finish the arm lock from here, Kevin? Nope. Can you uh, do anything? I can't move. Unless and then I look, I can't get my arm back just yet, but even if I give it to him, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take yeah, it, take nothing. it. It doesn't matter. So you can get into that position and just let your arm go if you've got the weight distribution right. You wanna feel it? <laughs> so, oh, I gotta get myself I gotta get myself in there. There we go, all right. So you feel, I wanted that deep, deep, deep right there. You feel okay. what I mean? I didn't wanna be like here trying this. Yeah. Because it, during that process, this could slip. Yeah. That's a problem. 
I want to be possible. deep and hooked on the back side with my, tri oh, my tricep right there, okay. like that with that rock climbing grip right there. Nice. And then this one is crawling up, 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 up. And now when you start to bring your, your arm into the game to break the grip, this is my time. I flip my hips and I press the, st I don't stay on my knees. I press the stack, keep the arm lock live. I press the stack to the opposite shoulder over there. And you feel like you can go under shorter, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so start to go under. Mm -hmm. And you see, I drop my weight heat on this, this side. So the sprawl is here, but the pressure is across. So can you spin under? Nope. And then when I'm ready, can you take the arm bar? No. Can you slide right there? Nice. That's, it's, just weight distribution and connection, but it's a, it's a, it's a very fine because you, you I feel you like oh I'll spin under, yeah, and that's what almost everybody. I mean that's the right move, but if my weight is in the right spot, you cannot move. You can't move. Got it? One, two, three. We're gonna work on this one the rest of the class, and then when I'm ready, can you take the armbar? No. Can you slide right there. 